everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Let's talk about light tables. Now I know not everyone has a light table. I even know that some teachers feel a little intimidated by the light table, especially when they see the price tag. But I have to tell you that you can make your own light table and I have shared that in my light table post that shows all the different ways that we've used our light table, including some other resources. So that link is in the description, so make sure to check it out. So if you don't have one and you don't have the budget for one, you can make one. I wanted to start that out so that you would know that yes, you can do all these fun things. So here are some of our favorite ways of using a light table. I like to use it to explore light, and color and so the pieces that I choose for the light table I usually like to have them transparent not all the time but a lot of the time I look for transparent pieces this is cellophane that you can just put on there I got off Amazon it comes in different colors and you can even laminate this if you want it to be sturdier but I kind of like the texture and the children can pick it up it's okay and they can hear it crinkle and they can feel it in their fingers and then another thing you can use are transparent pieces. These, I think I got these at the dollar store. And so you can put several of these on your light table. You can have smaller pieces that they can put inside. Young children love to fill things up and put the caps on. So whenever you're at the dollar store, look at their transparent pieces um, because they're very reasonably priced there. And I also love to use these colored window blocks. We have had these for quite a while. They're really sturdy. They look wonderful in the window, but we've done them in the block area, but they look sensational on the light table because the color comes through and they're different shapes. So sometimes I will feature just a certain shape or a certain color. I also love using these mirror blocks because they reflect the light. And speaking of that, we also use I just got these. These are little small, um, they're safety mirrors, so they're not gonna break, they're not gonna shatter, and you can just place these on there. And children might wanna take it, look at themselves in the mirror, because they love doing that, but they'll also notice as they turn it around, they're seeing the color, the light and color coming through on the mirror. And speaking of more transparent pieces, these are just like Lego Duplo, Duplo bricks except they're transparent so you can see the color through them and same with these transparent pieces they're just they look like regular plastic building blocks but since they're transparent they're picking up the colors and I love them because if you put them side by side they can actually look through and they can see that yellow and blue makes green so it's a great color mixing activity I also love using these magnetic magnet blocks because they just um, attach with the magnet and then sometimes I'll even put like a magnetic wand that they can pick up the pieces with. I might find some other magnetic pieces that they can put on top as well. So it's a fun um, way to explore magnets. And then I also like to use color bottles. These are so easy to make. I set them in our windowsill and on a sunny day it looks they look so pretty. I'll put like the whole rainbow out but they also look really really they're fun on the light table and again because I love for the children to be able to pick up the pieces and explore. I They love to pick them up and they're looking at how the light is coming through and they're shaking it. Sometimes I put glitter in these or um, I put some oil in it so the colors separate a little bit. There's different ways you can make these bottles, but they look sensational on the light table. And then I also like to use the light table as a little science and nature area. Studying bugs, you can put some bugs on your table and you can have your magnifying glass or whatever, like we've put seashells on here we have taken pine cones from outside. We've laid them out, put them on here. Again, having um, our magnifying, um, either you can have the individual magnifying glasses or you can have the one on the stand and the children can explore. You can um, put anything that you find on a walk, sticks, pieces of moss. Think about the things, leaves. I love in the fall, the children will come, they'll bring us leaves from our walk. Or I might ask the children, ask the children to 
um, over the weekend with their families, go on a walk and bring in a bag of leaves and we'll put those on the light table to explore. The light table is just allows you to see more of what you're putting on there. We'll put pumpkins on here. We have had little, uh, little looks like little icicles on here in the winter. Think about things that, the different ways that they can explore, pick them up, look at them because that's what it's all about. And again, the, check the description because there is a link to the post that has all pictures of all of our light table activities that we've done, plus other resources including how to make your own sensory table or your sensory box. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.